not only did we get Tilted Towers in BR, we also got a bunch of stuff in Fortnite Creative. So today we're gonna go over patch 90.10 and let's jump right into it. Now, all right, before we start into this video, there's a few new devices and there's also a few new devices which are not in the game yet because I'm recording this video as soon as the update comes out and a few of the devices are missing and also a few of the gaps, but I'll show you how the devices look and what they can do. But let's start with the stuff that is in the game right now, which is probably the one of the most important one is the prop manipulator. And this is probably a game changer for Fortnite Creative in the whole because this basically allows you to transform any prop and just make it disappear. It is amazing. So you can see you have a bunch of settings here. I, I will definitely make a video about this at full device, like um, like a full in-depth tutorial. And um, But basically how this device works is you can manipulate props. So you can make this stool or this chair, whatever you want to call this, and make it disappear. So if we quickly start the game, you can see the chair is not there. If we jump on the trigger device, the chair is there. If we go here, it's away. And if we jump again, it is there again. And you can even change the health. So you can see that this chair has 600 health and you can already see the potential, what people are gonna do with this and how you can use this. It is such an amazing device. Uh, the next new device in the game is the player counter. And yes, this does exactly what it does. It counts the players in your map. You can see I currently have one of two players in the map, but this device has so much more. You can uh, decide on how many players you want to have, like 50 is a max, obviously, on a creative island, um, but you cannot only do that. You can have equal to, you can have more to. This device is so versatile. You can do so many things in here. You can even change the icon. This is a new system which has an, a few devices have this, the, uh, this new icon system, and you can basically uh, use a pistol here. You can change the color. It is such an amazing device and I didn't expect this device at all. You can even have a zone. So for example, if you just want people uh, to be counted in just this particular zone, you can see it works perfectly fine. Um, this is an amazing device. Like I definitely, this is like, I have to do so many tutorials now. Like, um, but these two are definitely one of the favorite ones. Also one device which is sadly missing is the pop-up device. Um, and yeah, you can see it on screen how it looks usually. Um, it will maybe be in the game. Um, we don't know yet. There's obviously a lot of bugs when creative comes out, when when the, when you know the update is out. So we would definitely have um, that updated as well. So as some of you guys probably already saw, yes, this is probably a big deal for a lot of you guys. You can finally put the short shotgun into the vending machines and an item spawns. It's finally fixed. Um, there's some other problems, but um, yeah, if you want to use the uh, charge shotgun in vending machines and items, you can do that right now. And as you can see on the floor, we have pizza now in Fortnite Creative, um, and we have also pizza slices. You can eat them, um, you can get a shield from them, I think, and um, I think they're not even in BR yet. So there's a good chance that these are going to get removed, such as this thing, uh, which was removed because it was not in BR yet. So there's a good chance that these will get removed. Same goes for the um, machine pistol over here. Um, it's a pretty cool gun, not gonna lie, it looks really, really gangster. Um, but there's a good chance that this is going to get removed. The real-time clock got a lot of updates, and I think this device was like one of the like less used devices which came out. Like a lot of people were thinking this device was super cool, but they didn't really know how to use it. So there's a bunch more options here, a bunch more settings which you can use on this device, and um, I think this is a little bit more helpful um, in the long run to make this device a little bit more versatile. As some of you guys remember, as my last video where I talked about how nonsense the fire damage is in Fortnite Creative. And there's now another setting which is um, nonsense again, or as I realized, it's nonsense. So there's enable fire damage outside of the game. Um, but I tried it out and there is still no fire damage in the game. So um, I'm a little confused on that setting. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm just overlooking something and uh, you can tell me if, if I'm just overlooking something. But the Dragon Breath Shotgun, which I'm aware is the only shotgun right now that can do fire damage, um, doesn't do damage. The uh, explosive tanks cannot do damage, so I'm, I'm not sure what, 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 what is going on here. Um, but maybe some of you guys can explain me what is going on there. Speaking of things that should be incredible but are not right now, is a new prefab and gallery. And that is the Century. Uh, there's a few new uh, prefabs and galleries which we can use, but they're not in the game right now. So at least I cannot find them in my game. Um, so these are the last ones. And also if you tap them in this section over here, you can see there's no Century uh, gallery. Um, so uh, yeah, we also have a few smaller updates which are like super like specific updates. But one really cool thing which I want to show you guys is the VFX one and now has this laser beams effect. And I think the um, light fog is also new 
In the update thing, it says snow uh, particles for whatever reason. So maybe this is the snow particles or something. Um, but uh, obviously we had the snow before. So I'm not sure which one is the new one, uh, but we have the laser beams, which I think personally look really cool. So um, if you want to play around with laser beams, there you go. They look actually pretty decent. And this wraps it about up for this update. There are three new devices, and technically also a new gallery, a bunch of cool new other stuff, a few updates to a few smaller devices. Uh, so I think this update is a huge W. So with that being said, I'll see you guys back in the next one. And 